Welcome back. We will be continuing the uh, second battle of Bull Run. Um, you can see that in phase one we had finally started um, getting some more damage in uh, after we had forced them out of their stronger initial uh, fortified position where we were only going even. So we now we were really starting to make up um, the kills, but we ran out of time. This is a very short phase uh, and there's no time extension, so do what you can with it. Uh, if you don't feel that you can successfully push them out fast enough to be able to take advantage uh, then of their counterattack, um, it's better to play it conservative and just not engage this position at all. Because um, you, you'll probably only come out even, which is not really what you're looking for. Alright, so here we go. Um, Stonewall Jackson is defending and makes us to believe that he is trapped. As long as no rebel reinforcements are present, that is m merely true. Um, I'm not sure that that is what the right word. We must prepare for a major assault, but in order to keep the initiative, we could attack in waves until our whole army is fully operational. Um, wave assaults are just never really a good idea. Uh, I don't think they've ever really worked. Um, it's bad old military theory. At any rate... Um, see that we should outmount them to the one, although obviously note that again you're attacking in waves, so you only have maybe rough number parity at the start. Although as I will hopefully um, soon show, that is all that you need. The fortifications here are still not really that good, and the AI um, unwisely will sit in them, so you can punish them for that. The incident at Bronner's farm revealed Stonewall Jackson's positions. He is isolated and is trying to march south towards Richmond. He has formed a defensive line along Stony Ridge, starting from these wo those woods and ending at Sudley Ford. Although our forces are still not ready to begin offensive action, we should immediately send troops to pin him. We have a good chance of crushing one of the South's best commanders today. We have Malone and outnumbered. Their left flank is the most suitable place to begin the attack. No, that's terrible. That's a, that's a bad idea. Don't do that. We should also send one division to guard our own left. We might find an opportunity to attack from here. You, you can. It's kind of a waste, but you can. General, in a few hours, we will be able to mobilize our full army and outnumber Jackson at least 3 to 1. Um, and then bring enough troops, so 2 to 1. It is therefore advised to be cautious in our first assault until we can advance with our entire army. That, at least, is smart. Okay. So, um, yeah, we don't even get our full first core. We only get um, the first two divisions. So you're going to want to wait until you get your other two divisions in to actually commit to the attack. But with these troops alone, you can at least start maneuvering and, and create the positions that you need. Um, they say that you want to watch your left flank... Um, which is technically true because Longstreet's reinforcements will open the uh, when the map opens a little more they will again I don't remember I've never seen the the, the those future phases Longstreet will either directly spawn in at the start of the phase or he'll have to walk in as late reinforcements I don't remember what it is but so theoretically yes you can um, have forces just kind of hanging out here guarding from some theoretical confederate assault that will never come it's a waste, but you 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 know you can do it. So one of the other strategies in um, that people used to use is that you can actually ninja your entire army effectively, um, going all the way around the left side, and you can come in to the cap from the back, and you can win the map with like a thousand casualties. Um, if that, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that because in in all these battles, obviously you want to win. Uh, maybe on legendary, you know, uh, or even very hard if you're having a lot of problems. Um, you want to do that because you just want to preserve your forces. But especially at the lower difficulties, you you want you want to see combat at least a little bit because you need to blood your troops. Um, you need to get them leveled up for future battles. So uh, you know you know don't do so foolishly, but uh, avoiding combat entirely and and doing a war maneuver is not maybe necessarily actually recommended in the grand scheme of things. Um, instead, what you want to do is you want to take a look at these um, with the actual map. So if you look at these fortifications, these are still the bad old early fortifications um, that 
are they give not nearly enough cover. They don't give you 100% cover. I mean, some of these might be, might get close, but more importantly, you see how this will string like an entire brigade out through a very wide area, and you just get outshot. So if you're on the Confederate side, don't take these. Instead, just sit in the trees like right here. Um, so the AI will actually garrison these, so they'll have like units all along here, 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 but they're also going to have units up at these forward fortifications, which is like right here, here, and uh, along here. So we're going to want to punish them for doing that um, and and try to run them over. We're going to get some early early kills on them, and at least we just have to deny these positions. After that, so they say that you want to attack to the left, um, that's actually not a great idea because this is one of the few, This is see this is an L shape, this is actually one of the, the good defensive positions that you have. If you want to sit out here, this is the only one that I would. Um, I actually on the Confederate side like to defend instead from these woods. Uh, but you don't want to attack through here. What you want to do is you want to attack straight here through these fields. Um, that will let you, if there is any Confederate defenses right here, that will let you get in and immediately get a flank shot on them once you um, create a wedge going through. There's usually not units hanging out directly here. They usually commit to these barracks, to these fortifications instead, or are sitting around the flag. So this is relatively uncontested. So after we remove the early Confederate brigades from here, we will we will form up um, basically a fist or, or a spear whatever you want to call it. We're gonna we're gonna just barrel straight through here. That will get us access then to the backwoods. So one force will go left to basically walk straight down the um, the woods, take the flag and and the battle. Um, the other will peel off to the right, get in behind in these woods, clear this out. There's usually there might be a brigade over here, and then encircle and destroy whatever's here. So we'll put one brigade, we'll put a couple brigades kind of hanging out over here just as contain um, while we're, we're, we're pushing in on here. And then same thing here, we might have a brigade or two just out here and contain and they might shift laterally uh, eventually um, and then come in to help join in and flank once this area is cleared out when you don't have to go attack them straight on, which would be a, a, a completely awful idea. Anyway, that, that's a lot of talking. Um, so... Yeah, we're just going to want to push our forces up as aggressively as we can. Third div here. Can keep our cavalry there. Alright, so this is the bad one. Him and him. Right? Yep. Okay. And. Keep these guys together and then deploy him here. And something like that is probably fine. Unfortunately, even though this is between days, these guys don't get their ammo back automatically. That's fine. Um, technically, you could have gone to the camp screen and replenished even these troops. But that uh, at least used to mess up the um, the kill the kill tally, so I don't like doing that. You can see this this unit got kind of mauled. Uh, this unit got kind of mauled, but this unit was able to take advantage, which is sort of the opposite, because these guys said that they had the green troops, and I want them to absorb the kills, but whatever. Alright, so these two guys, they're going to basically push straight up and contest these woods here. Um, this unit will help them. This unit, same thing, is going to run over here, contest 
um, and fight out with these fortifications here. So like one here, one here, sorry, other way around. One here, one here, and then one right here. One unit of melee cav is going to hang out in reserve, and then if these guys get into the fortifications, it looks like they're breaking. You might charge them just to really force them out. We'll see. These guys are at less than full for some reason. It's a shame. It's very weird. Okay. So combine, combine. You get these guys just heading straight up to contest. There should be good, and then we'll we'll swing them either around. You can like fight skirmisher fights around here um, later if you really want. Like that. Just go straight up the gut with them. come up a little bit short with them while I wait for these guys to catch up. Okay, just pause and these guys to run. these guys to run and to run These guys have no stamina because these well, these are the one guys who really took the damage. So I'm gonna have them just sit on this observation point here. Yeah, you can see one of their brigades is already coming forward to try and contest. We're gonna want to make sure they don't do so for free. So the since we can test that, and have them shift laterally. see that these guys just basically instant route. That, that tells you the quality of these fortifications, which I said is um, not very good. See, these guys are attempting to get in fortification somehow that, that gives them a flank shot. I don't know how that works. It's bogus. He's got some cavalry hanging out there. That's interesting. Yeah, and see so these guys retreat as well. Okay. 
Okay. So we'll just pause here. Um, they've taken a fair bit more casualties from that. Uh, a good couple thousand. We've still got some lingering wounds. Um, but we did get a lot of gun kills on them. So now that this area is secure, um, I'm going to leave this unit here to slowly limp its way over, and then I'm going to laterally shift these two guys over, and they're going to get ready to form form the fist to go in straight through here, because this guy alone can probably hold this. Um, I could pull this guy, but I don't need to yet. And then same thing here. Um, this unit is going to take this guy's place, and he's going to shift over like this to walk in front, sort of like this. And he will shift laterally here, and then he's going to pull back slightly and shift him over. Take that back. We have another challenger. And um we're getting partially flanked from this. Like somehow these guys count as flanked, like whatever. You're not flanked. Charge. I'm gonna see if I can't get it get some kills on these guys. Uh nope. Call wave off. This guy's got another good volley straight into their back. guys are basically in position. So I'm going to start making a push. Pause. But first, the reason that we this, we will send the skirmishers in first. Ideally, but I just did that, right? Um Should be just about good. Okay. So the skirmishers go in and absorb the first shots. These guys are still exhausted. guys move in behind
These guys have also shifted out, so we're going to push out with them. These guys need to move and rally. These are still getting flanked from that. They're in range of that? Really? Whatever. Where are you shooting? You guys should not be shooting them. guys up. These guys are finally getting close. Run them down. Okay, these guys need to get back up here. Really already got the that's ridiculous. Alright. I probably attacked a little early, but this unit is being surprisingly durable. General's wounded, and these guys are totally routing. Let's get in there and get some damage in on this artillery. Oh, jeez. Where did you guys come from?
These guys should have rested enough. Hey, I might be able to capture those supplies. Having some ammo missions over there, so I'm gonna shift over here. Looks like these guys have finally shifted away. So I can't take these guys out. Give them a little help, in fact. Tell them not to fire. These guys are totally done, so they should stop sending in guys. So if I sneak in here and push the up. supply surrendered, that's excellent. Seriously making another go at it, Jesus, what are you guys doing? Okay. Skirmishers should be helping these guys out. guys are almost done. Yeah. And these guys over there. I should finally be able to move this unit up and we'll call it there. Um, thanks for watching.